Hello and welcome to this Power BI video. In this video, we are starting a new series uh, which we are calling DEX versus SQL. So we are going to take a SQL query and we are going to have SQL and DEX for it. So quite a few places we are going to use DEX Studio for that. We have already installed DEX Studio as the external tool. And from the uh, couple of months now, you know that DEX Studio is integrated with the, uh, the Power BI and we don't have to open a model and open it externally you can directly open it using external tool and model is going to be integrated so we have this data in the uh, database which is sql server and uh, we have installed a sql server expert edition and then actually uh, loaded certain tables out here and then uh, we have actually uh, going to create some sequels out there and equal and sql in the deck studio and try to see so first thing which we are going to have this is you know this select star from this this uh, sql table and how to do is we simply go it ahead and do it here uh, in the deck studio if you want to do it you have to say evaluate and start typing the name table name which is sales and then you do it now in case you want to do it in power bi you have to create a table visual and put all the columns into that one that's the way you have to do it in power bi so right now we are not going to do it in power bi we simply say okay say evaluate now that's what we need and now the another thing which we are going to do is second that the count number of rows okay so count rows in sql is pretty simple we say count star or count one if the column is not null, we can say count one also here so we are say count star from the table name that's that's what the syntax is count, count star from the table name and this is 30,000 rows now how to do this now in case of dex the challenge is that dex is not so the function is basically i'll tell you even with the evaluate it is not so we say evaluate and the function is count rows so count rows and count rows take a table so we start typing sales and this sales and if we try to execute it's not going to give us the results because a dex studio want a table to be written now to create a table we, we are going to use another function which is row so in the row now first of all we need to give a table name and right, right now we are doing a count rows so let's give it is a name is count rows or count row let's not get the same name okay now we let's say now if we select it and evaluate we got 30,000 let's check one more table out here so I'm going to try let's say customer table is there so let's copy this here and see for customer we are just going to change it and in, even in this uh, SQL Server Manual Studio if you just start typing it is going to suggest you and uh, this bracket is only necessary when you have space or some special character 6138 and we go to deck studio again we are going to do the same copy paste stuff here and then we say okay we say okay sorry we have copy pasted from sql server let's copy paste it from dex okay and let's start using customer okay so we got this customer table and let's count the number of rows in the customer okay 6138 6138 so numbers are matching so now this is what now this if you have to do it in power bi so what you can do here is uh you we will go ahead and let's say any of the table we can go ahead and then we create a major let's say uh, so we say new major and we say now here we can say sales count or we we, we i'll tell you the two ways sales, sales count and we say count rows and sales now the power bi way is we put it into some visual so the visual could be best way is to have a card visual and then we created this major sales count we put it here okay 30k is the count which is coming now put one more card visual and then now instead of counting row we can actually count one id column also so customer id we know is a unique one and count is nothing but count only so it's by default we, it has counted it uh, so this is 6138 this is another way so you just simply count one column if it have no blanks then it's very simple this count so power bi ways put in your own visual and get it and dex ways you use the evaluate and you can actually use it and it's need a table so we are using row out there and sql ways uh, select star so we'll continue this discussion in another video we keep on uh, taking uh, one by one more more and more complex cases thanks for watching this video thank you